In this video, you will learn to use the splitting tool in the multi-hoop toolbox. With this design, first notice that the background area, which is color number one, covers a lot of area in the design. We're going to manually place the hoops for this design. Remember, when you are placing hoops manually, it is always a good idea to use the stitch player to watch the design stitch out first so that you can note the direction of the stitches and the orders of the objects. So I'm going to turn on Stitch Player, and you can see that that background object stitches all in one fell swoop. And notice that it stitched from the upper left to the lower right. Then the shading of the sand stitches, and then finally the shells and the starfish on top. So that will give us a clue as to how to place our hoops. I'm going to switch to multi-hooping, and you can see that there's some black areas. I'm going to add a hoop, and I'll move this hoop and this hoop. Notice that the area is still black, and we are going to need to split this design. But first, I'm going to rotate the hoops, because I did see in that stitch out that the design is stitching from left to right. So if I rotate these hoops, before I add my splitting line, I'll have a better chance of getting this in two hoops. Now the splitting line is in the multi-hoop toolbox and it is digitized with left and right clicks and it needs to be in the common area of the design. If you make a decision that is bad for the design, don't worry about it, the software will correct it. When I press enter, now all of the design is green. Let's go to calculate hoopings. And I have three hoopings. If I make some changes, I can get this design to stitch in fewer hoops. So I'm going to undo the splitting line. And if you remember in an earlier video, I mentioned that we need to place the hoops close together and create as much overlap as possible. And you have a better chance then of getting the designs so that they will stitch all in one hoop. So I'll move this around a bit. And then activate my splitting line. And again, just cut across the design and press Enter. Everything is green now. So let's calculate hoopings. I have reduced the number of hoopings by one. So remember to create as much overlap as possible to get fewer hoopings. Now let's go to preview hoopings and look how this design stitches out. There's the first part of the design. And here is the second. And notice that the splitting line split right through that starfish but the software made the decision that the design would stitch out better if the starfish was all included in the second hooping. Remember, when you see an area that is black in multi-hooping, it's one of two reasons. Number one, there's a tiny bit of the design that is perhaps outside the hoop area that you cannot see, but the software sees it. Or in the second case, as we saw in this design, the object in the background was all one object, and with manual hooping, the software does not automatically split the design as it does for automatically add hoops.